Hello everyone. Today we will going to discuss the topic fatigue. So very essential thing. What is fatigue? Fatigue is basically a component when subjected to cyclic loading at a stress which is considerably lower than the ill stress or the static loading. In general, we apply a uh, cyclic loading on the specimen. For example, if we see in the uh, this is schematic here, where applied stress in, in, is in the form of schematic uh, cyclic loading. Here, some important parameter of this cyclic loading that is sigma max, sigma min, and mean stress. The cyclic loading, which is defined by basically the range of stress, which is lies between sigma max to sigma min. It is the difference of this maximum stress and minimum stress. Another very important component that is stress amplitude, sigma a, which is the half of range of this stress amplitude, which is sigma max minus sigma min by two. Another concept is mean stress, which is the average of this maximum stress and minimum stress, that is sigma max plus sigma min by two. Another very important concept that is stress ratio, which is the ratio of minimum stress and maximum stress. This stress ratio is very much important to decide the experimental conditions where we we are going to start our experiments in the under cyclic loading conditions. Now, there are three different types of fatigue loading or time varying stresses. The first one is completely reversed loading, where mean stress is zero. and another condition is minimum stress which is exactly opposite to the maximum stress that is sigma min is equal to the minus of sigma max the second important time varying stress is repeated loading where minimum stress must be zero but here we can clearly observe from this schematic there sigma min should not be equal to zero so this is the definition of repeated loading the third one is the fluctuating loading where we can uh, exactly uh, we can clearly observe from the schematic that the here minimum stress should not be zero this minimum minimum stress either in the tensile regime or in the or in, or in the compressive regime obviously here mean stress and maximum stress is also not zero now we are going to discuss there are two different types of fatigue loading the one is high cycle fatigue another one is low cycle fatigue when we can say the our specimen is subjected to which kind of cycle it is basically depends upon the number of cycle which is sustained by the specimen under static loading when our specimen is uh, sustained for 1000 number of cycle and crosses cross 1000 number of cycle so we can say our specimen is designed for high cycle fatigue but eventually when our specimen fails under the 1000 number of cycles so it is it is generally known as the low cycle fatigue another parameter is when our specimen is uh, operated under the uh, well well below under the yield strength of the specimen which is static loading condition so our specimen is when well uh, below under the uh, yield stress condition so it's uh, it run for the higher number of cycle which is near about somewhere 1 uh, million cycle or more than that so in that case also we can say our specimen is uh, run for uh, designed for high cycle fatigue but when our specimen is operated uh, very near to the yield strength of static loading condition then sometimes it's uh, not only lies in the elastic regime but it's also sometimes enter into the elastic plastic zone also so in that condition our specimen will sustain for less number of cycle um, uh, when we compare or uh, when we make the reference of 1000 number of cycle or we can say our specimen is fails under the 1000 number of cycle in that case we can say the specimen is designed for low cycle fatigue this is the asan curve which is one of the oldest approach to understand the uh, fatigue loading this asan from the asan curve we can clearly observe here when specimen is fail under this 1000 number of cycle so this is the stage one of the stage one of the fatigue loading if specimen fail under this condition so this is uh, uh, low cycle fatigue but our specimen is when crosses 3 to 3 uh, three number of cycles and reaches up to the 10 to about 6 number of cycle here we can clearly observe the this asan curve which is the best fitted curve uh, over the uh, Uh, several specimen tested so when it become like almost uh, asymptotic and asymptotic at which particular stress amplitude it comes asymptotic below which when we operate our specimen uh, under uh, for cyclic loading so specimen specimen is sustained for infinite number of cycle so this is basically known as something endurance limit of the specimen but some some, uh, some material which is uh, not showing the nature of this kind of uh, red line curve which asan curve so uh, in that cases the this asan curve is goes down and down and at some point it comes zero stress amplitude but 
when a specimen reaches the 10 to the power 8 number of cycle at which particular stress this uh, this uh, uh, this number of cycle they are giving that is basically known as the fatigue strength so fatigue strength is basically shown by the low strength alloys such as magnesium or aluminium alloys but endurance limit is uh, in case of uh, ferrous material or titanium alloy the third approach which is the linear elastic fracture mechanics approach or lefm lefm is basically when uh, here here is the here this is the case of where we have already have a, a pre crack which is signify which is uh, this is the presentation of crack initiation but from this particular point where we apply the cyclic loading and when this cyclic loading become critical from initial uh, initial position to the uh, crack uh, crack become uh, crack become critical up to this point how much number of cycle specimen sustained that is basically defined by or evaluated by the linear elastic fracture mechanics approach thank you